Hello and welcome back to Cooking with Jess. This is going to be a really quick <laughs> recipe and I'm laughing because I'm wondering, am I going to talk this thing to death? But we call this chocolate bomb. This is something that um, me and my littles make and it is sweet. It is wonderful. And it is a no bake, no cooking recipe. So we make this from time to time as a, just a little sweet treat to have. And um, it would get very messy and dirty. So I need to take this off. I don't know why I didn't take that off earlier, but we're gonna use a lot of our hands. So make sure your hands are clean and we're gonna get started. So very simple ingredients. Might not be super simple to find, but I have some green banana flour. This is optional, but this is, um, coconut uh, flakes. What do they call this? Shredded coconut, unsweetened shredded coconut and some agave. You see this, we, this is on heavy rotation here. And our trusted coconut oil, sunflower seed spread. So usually I will use um, any nut, like any nut um, butter. So usually we use almond butter, but peanut butter, whatever floats your boat. We just happen to have this on hand. So we're going to be using the sunflower seed spread or butter and then some um, cocoa powder. This one is unsweetened. We got enough sugar, so it's okay. It will be sweet. So I already had went ahead and I put in the three tablespoons of the banana um, flour and a tablespoon and a half of the cocoa powder. So we're just going to mix that up. This is, a little, this is a little smidgen. And then we're going to add, I like to do all the dry ingredients together, especially with this because the cocoa powder is gonna give it the, um, not only that chocolate flavor or that chocolate taste, but it's also gonna give it the, um, that color, the brown coloring. The uh, banana powder, the banana flour is more like, um, let me open it up. It's more like a tannish kind of color. And that does not scream, that does not scream uh, chocolate at all. So you wanna make sure that that's mixed in pretty good. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in the agave and the coconut oil. This is three tablespoons of agave. And three tablespoons of the aceite de coco, put that in there. I'm gonna scrape the bejesus out of this because that's just how I was raised and we not wasting nothing in here. So don't mind me, but it's it's a thing. I just, I gotta scrape, I gotta scrape, I gotta scrape. So we're gonna do that. There's nothing that's gonna go to waste. And then we're going to add the sunflower seed spread or butter. Now for the coconut, that's completely optional. So we'll talk about that when we get to that point, but I wanted to showcase it here just so you can see what it looks like if you decide to use the, the coconut flour. I'm sorry, the coconut, uh, the shredded coconut. I'm still gonna mix that. Look how that looks already. Look at that. It looks like melted chocolate. I mean, minus the powdery stuff, but yeah, it looks chocolatey. And then we're gonna add the, the sunflower seed. And I didn't know this until I had a little that um, started school, but since there are a lot of nut allergies and nut restrictions at school, Enter in sunflower seed. I didn't even know this was a thing. Sun, so like instead of doing peanut butter and jelly, this is what uh, it's recommended that we send the littles to school with. Now, uh, my little does not eat sandwiches and things like that because uh, he's special. <laughs> special in the sense that he wants like rice and lentejas. That's his big mama I just want rice lentejas and some espinaca for lunch like that's that's lunch for him so he gets packed a lunch at his very young age so 
every so often. I try, I bought this and every so often I'll make it for like snacks in the house, but I never even sent him to school with this because this is not something that he would consider a lunch. This is more like a snack thing for him. I'm talking about the, uh, the sunflower seed and uh, jelly sandwich. He also doesn't eat jelly, he eats jam. Very special, love him dearly. That's my little. All right, so now that we mix that up, look how that looks. Look at that. So you see why, even though we use only a tablespoon and a half of that cocoa powder, look how it looks like it just took on that color so beautifully. And maybe because I'm just programmed, like to me, it just smells like peanut butter, but it does not, it doesn't taste like peanut butter. It doesn't at all. So we got that. That's nice and thick. That's it at this point, right? So because it's a little, uh, it's going to be a little difficult to form this into a ball. Like you see how it's it's sliding off of the spoon. We need for it to be just a little, little thicker. So I'm going to pop this into the refrigerator for just about 10 minutes and let it um, solidify just a little bit more. I think the, um, because I melted the coconut oil, I think that's why it's like, See, it's like slowly dripping and we don't want that. It's just going to make it a little difficult to form the ball. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this in the refrigerator for 10 minutes and then we will come back. So we are back and fresh out of the fridge. So just to give you an idea of what we're trying to get to is here. See, it's not moving. So because it's not moving, it's going to make it easier for us to form these little small little bombs. Now, I like to make them fairly small because they're supposed to be like little treats. So for me, small is, let's put a measurement on this. Let's say that it is about a teaspoon. So this is a tablespoon, but we're gonna, we're gonna guesstimate that this is a teaspoon. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to go ahead and roll out as many as we can. I'm going to do it fairly quickly because my hands are warm, warmer than the refrigerator. It's going to start to melt and get a little bit uh, less structured. Let's say that, right? And because of that, it's going to stick to my hands and get messy. And you know, I'm going to scrape all of this off my hand and form the last ball. Formulate. Look at that. Look at that chocolate bomb. Look at that. Boom. So it tastes pretty good. It tastes, um, I'll, I'll hold on to what I think it tastes like, but it is uh, for that, that taste test. But I like to make these when I feel like eating something like semi-sweet. I'm not a big sweet, sweet person. And what I mean by that is I'm not the person that's going to go and drink some juice that has like, hella sugar in it because that's just, that's not my, that's not my, my jam at all. I need like semi-sweet, you know, I also drink hot tea with no sugar in it because I don't need it. Like I want to experience the tea and not the sweetness of the tea. You know, does that make sense? I, um, I'm okay with semi-sweet, not super sweet. I just, even cakes, like if it has way too much sugar in the icing, not for me. But I'll eat the cake though. I will not. I will not play around with the cake. But just I can't. I can't do it. It's just not my thing. So anyway. So I don't know if I'm gonna actually be able to make a dozen. Let's see. I'm gonna. One thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try. Say that much because we we got a lot of scraping. Look at that. Look. We gonna make at least two. At least if I could do three, I will make it happen. We'll see though. We'll see. Let's see. And when I when I learned about this um, this recipe, I thought it was a really good opportunity to to spend time with the littles because they like they like to help me in the kitchen, and it's mostly fun. <laughs> um, not a fan of the extra cleanup, but they really enjoy it, and that's you know that just makes me smile so big. It really does. 
I'm also teaching them about all this scraping because we're not letting nothing go to waste. Because why? Why should we let it go to waste? All right, where are we at now? Three, six, nine. Oh, Lord. Ten. That does not look bombish. I don't think we're going to make it. I don't think we're going to make it to a dozen. Uh, if we can make it to 11, I will smile. I will smile bright. But I don't think it's going to happen. And that's okay. They don't have to be perfect. It's homemade. Made with love. And that's all that's important. And then you know what goes into it. Because you made it yourself. You know, this is not something that was uh, made outside of outside of your home. And outside of your, your purview. So you know what's in there. Okay. So this might be the tiniest bomb ever invented in life. But. We're gonna we're gonna get to eleven. I'll tell you that much. I'm gonna have to take some from another one, and that's okay. I think I have one that could stand stretching in and join the party. Now this is from this is for me and my littles. But this is for me. I'm not gonna lie. But um, I'm not too concerned about how exactly it looks in the presentation. We care, but it's not it's not the it's not the end of the world that it doesn't look great. All that, ma all, all that matters is that it's, it's soothing, right? It is, it is serving its purpose. And the purpose is to have a little sweet little snack. It has a lot of protein in it. But it hits the spot, man. So at this point, we are going to, if, and this is optional, this is optional. If you are about that coconut, that shredded coconut life, we're going to add a little shredded coconut on, on top. Don't have to do it, but if you're adventurous and you are all about the coconut, now keep in mind we have the coconut oil. So this is a lot of coconut flavor. I like coconut. I, I like it a lot. And I am okay with it. And it gives it a different texture. You know, it's pretty cool. Oh no, we starting to heat up. And because we're heating up, it's melting and it's not staying in our, it's not staying exactly how I'd like, but it's okay. It's okay. You know, I'm still trying to shrape this thing. Like, I think I can make one more. Maybe I can make one more or at least make this 11th one just a, just a smidgen bigger. I just really want to get it soft in my hands, but I don't want to, um, I don't want to like toss it. All right, boom, there we go. We add a little bit more. And I put the little, um, the coconut, the shredded coconut in here. So what we're gonna do, let's try to pick one that we haven't messed with too, too much. You can just roll it, that's it. Roll it around and it looks like so. See, we will add, we'll add more to this one so you can actually see like the the coconut flakes on it. Look at that, boom. And that actually helps to take up some of that, that excess um, that's on my hands. There's another dry ingredient. And it tastes so good, it really does. It really does. So I don't want to do, I don't want it to sit out too long and then it starts to soften again. So we're going to go ahead and pop this in the refrigerator for 10 minutes and it'll get, it'll solidify even more. And then, uh, see how it was getting all stuck on my hands like that. Not a fan. I'm not a fan. And it's because there's, um, there's a lot of coconut oil in it and the constant moving is, is warming it up and. See how nice and moisturized the insides of my hands look? Look at that. Look at coconut oil coming through. This is why I like coconut oil. And I use it for many different things. It's not just food. I use it for oil pulling. If you don't know what oil pulling is, look it up. I use it for that. I use it on my skin. I use it in my hair. I use it to remove makeup. It's, it's, I'm a fan. 
I'm a fan. And then I use it to cook. So many options. Many options for the coconut. All right, I think that's it. I'm over here just scraping stuff <laughs> to infinity. Like, yeah, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. For real. I'm going to wipe my hands and then we're going to put this in the refrigerator. And then in 10 minutes, we're going to take it out. It should be um, solidified. And then we're going to taste it because that's the fun part is tasting it. So 10 minutes, we'll be right back. All right, so we are back. We took the chocolate bombs out of the refrigerator. They have solidified, okay? I am excited about this. I'm gonna eat the smallest one, that 11th one that was like the little tiny, tiny little bomb that could. See how it's just moving around? It's not sticking to the parchment paper. And um, that just means we're ready to eat it. Okay, so here we go. You know what actually reminds me of like, kind of reminds me of uh, Snickers. I don't know why, like just looking at it, but anyhow. It's so, like it just melts. It literally melts because of that coconut oil. Mm-hmm. It tastes great. It really does. And because of the fact that I use that sunflower seed spread, I taste that. So if you were to supplement that with um, almond butter, peanut butter, cashew butter, or anything you know along those lines, I think that we have made it before with the peanut butter and it gives me like Reese's peanut butter cup vibes, like real, real heavy. So we just gonna take one more, cause why not? Again, it just melts, oh my. So I'm glad I did that second one because it was needed. Um, but yeah, so these are chocolate bombs. You should try it. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what nut butter you use or if you go with the um, a sunflower um, seed butter or spread. Let me know how that works out for you. But it's the aftertaste. That sunflower seed aftertaste, I noticed like after the whole like the melting experience in your mouth that lingers, but that hit of chocolate in the beginning, that little bit of sugar, that sweet. Yeah. So I'm not going to eat the Coke. Why not? Let's just eat the Coke. Why, why would I say that? Okay. Yeah. See now with the coconut is that texture. It's a little different. I shouldn't eat with my mouthful. But the coconut, it just, it just, yeah, it changes that whole that whole taste. Yeah, that was a good idea too. So, okay, there you have it. The Did I touch that one? I think I did, so I should probably go ahead and eat it. <laughs> all right, for real, I'm done, because I can't eat all this. I can't. There's too much, uh, too much like sugar at one time for me. Too much sweet at one time for me. But that was... No one's got. Mm-hmm. So try it. Let me know your thoughts. Chocolate bombs. <laughs>